<laughs> okay, boys and girls. Here we're going to fix up some ribs. Uh, these are, I believe, St. Louis style spare ribs. Don't really care about knife sharpening. I got a nice gat cone set, but it costs about $40. But you can go down to Harbor Freight and get one of these little $3 jobs right here. And they work really good. They make this guy right here where you don't want to get too close to it because if you get too close to it, it's like a badass ceramic knife. It will cut you open. Now here, I'm going to use this pan right here. We're going to put all these ribs on there. And we're going to rub these ribs down with this nice little piece right here. It's uh, garlic oil, hot and spicy garlic oil. And uh, for basic flavoring so that other people can fix their own uh, seasoning once they're done, we're just going to use basic salt and pepper. And we'll get around to it, but once we get all these ribs in here, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yep, uh, we're going to cover those with aluminum foil and we'll put them on the grill. So I'll be right back, okay? You guys just hang out and wait now. Okay now, boys and girls, what we got here is... And I didn't tell you about this before, but some people, and I didn't even know it until I was reading about being a connoisseur of ribs and such, but there's this membrane on the inside right there. This is a piece of it right here. And you take a, a pointy knife right there, and you get an edge on it Start right over here, and you can start pulling it back. And now for those of you who are just now getting into being the backyard cooks, you want to use that end right there that's called the pointy end of the knife and that one right there that's called the sharp end of the knife that's the one that's going to cut you from your ankle all the way up to your hair and ears i'll be right back okay boys and girls here we have it we have our uh, we have our ribs they've already i've already wiped them down with this here oil it's a garlic oil. I just got to get a good view. There it is. You get these in specialty stores like uh, Bed Bath & Beyond or uh, Bell's or, or uh, some other place like that. Now, when you put this oil on these ribs and you rub them around, you only need to put it on about half of them and then use that rib to rub on the others. Now, it doesn't matter if they overlap or anything, because we're going to cover this whole thing right here in foil. And it's going to sit out there at 200 to 250 degrees for two hours. And then, and no more than 250 now, because this is, uh, we, and you're going to have to be careful when you go to take these out of there, because they're going to, they're going to want to jump off of it off of the bone out there and so we'll we'll see about that a little bit later so here we go i'm going to wrap these puppies up and i'm going to take them out yonder and put them on the grill and i'll let you know more about the uh the grill and how we do that when i come back from this okay so you just you guys just hang in there now be right back okay now boys and girls here we go now see that lunar foil right there it's totally wrapped up in there because what we want to do is, or what I want to do, is I want to keep everything inside of that pan underneath that foil the whole time that we're cooking on it. And I want that to stay in and keep juicing it and keep my ribs moist and just keep them going. Now, if you happen to have, now this is a four burner grill. Now, I'm only going to use the outside burner those two right there these two I'm not going to use in the middle if you have a two burner stove then what you want to do up here on this top rack is on the bottom is you want to put a piece of aluminum foil underneath your pan and that'll keep from having direct contact the flame that is and you can uh, modify your temperature by taking and propping open the lid if if you can't get down low enough so that's one thing to keep in mind all right now i'll be right back okay now boys and girls here we are see this temperature right there it's 
pretty close to really good, but we want to go between there and 250. And you can see that. And we're just going to adjust it right down here on the outsides. And if you have to and you want to go lower, even on the two burners, you can always come up here and it will go lower because from here down to the very bottom down there where it says low, that is its predefined low, which is not as low as it will go. But the closer that you go towards off from there, it will get, it's called like a micro or a macro adjustment for temperature. Well, you can still do that. So, we got another two hours to go here. So, let's, uh, the only reason to come back here is to adjust your temperature. Okay? So, now you be. Ooh, boys and girls, can you smell that? Mm. Oh, of course, we're over here checking on our temperature. We're looking good, but can you smell that? Oh, I forgot. For those that you have NFC, you need to enable that so that you can you can smell this because I've got NFC enabled on mine and on my tablet. And depending on your cell phone, your tablet, or your Ultrabook, if you have NFC enabled, you can smell this because I'm transferring it right now. For those that you don't, just reach up there and scratch that screen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry about that. The devil made me do that. But oh yeah, it's it's smelling so good. And we're gonna we'll take a peek here. Oh, ooh, good golly mighty! You can you hear that trickling, that that, that bubbling going on in there? Hmm. Well, we got some good stuff coming up here, and it's only been one hour, and and. Oh, 30 minutes. So we still have another half hour before we uncover this puppy and see what we got cooking. For those of you that don't know what NFC is, you don't have it. Okay? Cool. Sorry, buddies. All right, boys and girls. We're checking temperatures here. And we're looking pretty good. We're just a little above, below uh, 250. But I tell you what, after the first hour, you can start smelling it. And then you got an hour to hour and a half. And you can run on down to the bar right there. And what you do is you just lift that lid up right there. Let some of that smell get up underneath your shirt right there. And when you get down to the bar right there, somebody will be trying to put some barbecue sauce on you. Because you smell like ribs while you're having that beer. Mm. Mm. Here we go, boys and girls. Yeah, check it out. You hear that crinkling going on right there? That right there means that there's juice up in here. And that means that you better be real careful now. I mean, real careful. We're going to open this puppy up. And when we do, uh, we're going to open this end right here. So that's where all that steam's going to come up. Can't see. And, and woo! And we just want to avoid that stuff like the plague. Woo! Watch it now. Goes. You be one of them things that'll be getting steamed in there if if you don't stay out of the way of it. So uh, we have to work on this. We don't care if the foil tears because we're not going to use it again right now. Woo! Look at that! Would you see them puppies in there? And they've been covered up this whole time. All right. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to get these up here. Hopefully, they ain't going to fall off. Because they are awful tender. See that? See that thing wave? And we're going to... Goodness gracious, we got to get that little piece right there. Because we can have that in just a couple minutes. Uh, we get this up here, and we got to find a place for everything. Yep. A place for everything and a thing for every place. And, oh, that one right there. See that bone right there? It was just falling right out. So, you know, and, and there we go. And then uh, we get this browned up a little bit. 
and they will put some juice on it. Some of that red barbecue juice. Now, if you don't think that this is tender, then you just watch this right here. You see that little piece tearing off right there? Ooh, that piece right there? Mm, that's going to be my sample to see how it comes out. And I guarantee you, and I'm going to take that one right there because I ain't giving up nothing. Oh, okay. So if you just push that little square button. Okay. Ooh, boys and girls. Oh, dead gone it. I had a problem getting some of this up because it was just falling off. See, I had this one piece right here. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, it's out. Right here. It had fallen off. Oh, that got it. Oh. That right there. Oh. 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 Mm. Don't kill nobody over that. It's terrible. Mm. You don't want to give it away. Mm. It's, it's bad. Mm. I guarantee you. Now we can. Whoop.